If you're looking for a software that helps you to build your business, gives you funnels, courses, emails, calendars, a CRM, social media, and so much more, then my favorite platform is definitely Go Higher Level. And we have a series of videos on this channel that teach you how to use Go Higher Level, and this is one of them. Welcome. If it is your first time watching any one of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I teach you how to turn your courses or coaching programs into a recurring revenue system in your business. So don't forget that if you are looking to give Go High Level a try, my link is right below this video. Please go ahead and click that and we have a bunch of amazing bonuses um, for you should you use my link. In this video, I want to show you how to create your offers inside of Go High Level. Okay, so we are in the dashboard of Go High Level. So I'm inside one of the accounts that we have created for demonstration purposes, so there's nothing here uh, to see. So it gives me uh, the opportunity to be able to show you things properly and to build from scratch. Okay, so now I wanna walk you through the offers, but to do that, we need more than one product in order to be able to create an offer. So I'm still in my product section over here, right? So I'm still on products over here. All I'm going to do is click on create products, and then I'm going to do a sprint course, for example. I'm just going to create something random, just so that um, uh, we can do an offer together. So I'm gonna call this random. Product, right? I'm going to click on create product. I'm not going to make any changes. Of course, um, you know how to do that because I have shown you already. But I'm going to go back to products over there. And now I have two products. So I have ABC coaching and I have random product. Now over here, I'm going to go back to courses to make this an offer. So I'm going to click on offers over here. Once I click on offers, the first thing you want to do is to note that it says to collect payments from your customers, connect a Stripe payment over here. Now, this means that I'm limited to what I can show you because I do not have Stripe connected to this specific um, account, but I will show you as much as I can. Please make sure that you already have Stripe, otherwise you will be limited. I do have another video that covers how to connect uh, your account to Stripe, so make sure you check that out. Now, moving forward to create an offer, I simply click on create offer over here. And then it's going to ask me what is the offer title. So let's say I'm creating um, a bundle um, called Accelerator. Coaching Accelerator, let's call it that. Coaching Accelerator, right? I'm gonna copy this just in case I need it again. Products, it says select one. Now it's only going to allow you to select one product to begin with. So people get really confused thinking that they can only have one product in an offer. No, you can't. Uh, or rather you can have more than one product, but I'll show you where to do that elsewhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select uh, one product. So I've selected uh, one product over here. Oh, wonderful. It's actually, do you know what? What I love about this is they've made an update. Prior to this, you could only select one product and select a second one in another place, but they have updated this, which means that you can select all the products that you want at once. See, we learn new things when we are teaching others. I love this. So this is a new update that I have just noticed, which is brilliant. It says here, enter your pricing name. So I'm going to call this uh, 197, for example. So untype, here where it says free, if I hit the drop down, I only have the option for free. The reason is I do not have Stripe connected, so I cannot take payment. So I don't even have the option to try to take payment because I don't have Stripe connected. So um, I'm gonna have to move forward without it, but if you have Stripe connected, you should be able to change this to paid. Now, payment mode, make sure you change this to live straight away because you're gonna set this to live anyway. Again, just on the word of free, um, you can also share your freebies through, you know, by creating offers, etc. Let's move forward so you click on create once you click on create you now have the ability to make many more uh, changes to this offer again it's warning me about stripe over here so I cannot uh, there's certain things lots of things actually that I won't be able to do because I don't have stripe connected so but we will make some changes over here so the title is coaching accelerator nickname it says here only you can see this whatever you want to call this I'm going to leave this blank or just actually copy and paste this here. Uh, you can add your description here. You can click on advanced and do JavaScript and CSS and all of that good stuff, your tracking code. I wouldn't mess with that if you're not good with that. Um, included products, it's telling you these are the included products that you have included here. So right here in this section, you can also click the X to remove a product or you can click on add product if you remember or think, oh, perhaps I should throw this freebie in or 
throw this PDF in or throw this video in or throw this course in or whatever. You can still click on add product over here and then choose your product. I don't have any more created, so therefore I can not choose any more. Right here on the right hand side, you have published or draft. Just set it to publish straight away, right? Because you're going to publish this. Now, edit price. If I click on edit price, it says zero because it's free currently. If I click on edit price, I won't be able to do anything because I don't have Stripe connected. But had I had Stripe connected, over here, I will be able to edit the price. I will be able to set up a one-time payment price or a recurring subscription price, which is brilliant for memberships. And once you have done that, you can then click on Save Plan and your pricing will change over here. So therefore, it becomes a paid product. Over here on the right hand side, what you're doing here is to add an image for the offer, for the bundle. So not just the individual products, but the actual bundle, the image goes here. You click on select, image, upload a new file, um, etc. Let me just find something on my desktop, the same one that I have over here. Upload. And it goes there. And of course, you can hit save. There are lots of things um, that you want to do before you move forward. And that is to go through all of the other um, uh, links here, including editing the checkout. So we've done the details. Now, if you have an upsell, for example, you can then click on upsell and you can click here add upsell to add an upsell product. For adding an upsell, you have two options. You have the one click upsell, which is uh, which allows you to sell an offer after an initial offer is purchased. So that's a one click upsell, which means that their credit card, whatever card that they have used is already stored in the system. And once they click a button, they pay straight away. So they don't need to re-enter their details. That is an, a one click upsell. This is an in-app upsell, slightly different. In-app in -app upsell allows you to lock products or offers as a bundle in the My Library page. So this is a little bit different, a little bit advanced. I prefer the one-click upsell. You can select that, click on continue. So to actually add an upsell, after you click the one-click upsell, you'll see here when you hit the drop down, if it's your first time setting up an upsell, you won't have the option to add anything here. This has come up because I have added it in. So let me show you what I had to do. So if I come back out of here, right um, click on cancel I come back to offers what I'm going to do is create a new offer so go to create offer I'm going to call this upsell um, uh, let's call this coaching upsell right assessment coaching assessment this is my upsell if I can spell right this is my upsell all right, so it says select any product. So make sure that you've already created that upsell as a product. So you go through the process again, but let's imagine this is the product. I've uh, selected that, enter the price. Let's imagine that it's $67 for the price. And I don't have Stripe still, so it still says free. Um, but I put this on a live and I click on create over here. It's going to send me to the next page. Make sure you hit this in published. Otherwise it won't, you know, nothing will happen. And then click on save. What will happen is if I come back over here to offers, you see that I now have several offers, including my coaching assessment offer. So now to add the upsell to the original product that I was creating, the original product was uh, the original offer, pardon me, was coaching accelerator. So I'm going to click on coaching accelerator again, go straight to upsell, click on add upsell, click on one click upsell, click on continue, click on here. And then now I have my upsells coming up. Do you see that? So the, the, the upsell that I want to use is coaching assessment. Click on add upsell offer. Once I have done that, I have many more options of what I would like to do. So let's have a look. So here you can click down and edit the details for this specific upsell, edit the body, add any videos you need to add. It sort of creates some sort of sales page for you um, to use. Now, bear in mind, you only need to create upsells if you're adding other products um, for people to buy within the transaction, within the buyer cycle of this specific product. Now, if you're just creating a program or a course, etc., and giving people access to that, you don't need to go through um, all of this. But assuming you are creating upsells, etc., um, then of course you hit um, save once you have made all the changes um, uh, don't forget to do the checkout click on everything and make all the changes that need to happen especially your colors your branding all of that good stuff click on save and it has been saved successfully so then I go back and I can see that for coaching accelerator which is that first offer I have a one-click upsell and right now it's inactive if I can set it to active, let's see, there we go. It's now active, so therefore it's ready um, for people to purchase, assuming they want to buy that. The next thing you want to do is to click on get link. When you, when you grab this link, 
it should be already customized from the beginning because remember we talked about having your custom domain etc so it should be customized it should be your domain but once you have that you click on copy and you share this link below with your users to send them to this page so that they can um, purchase etc so let's get link over there and then of course you have preview which shows you a preview of your initial offer which is your, the coaching accelerator now bearing in mind that this page looks bare because i had i added zero details because i'm just showing it to you for uh demo purposes when you create this it should have some amazing images some amazing copy etc 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 and so that is your preview Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you got incredible value and you were able to build along with me. Give me a comment below and let me know how you got on and any questions that you might have. I really hope you like Go High Level because I absolutely love it. And if you want to check it out, there is a link below this video uh, with a trial so that you can check that out. I'll see you in the next video.